What's going on YouTube? So in today's video, I want to talk about what might be the most sought after LeBron insert 20 years from now. So if you could take a time machine and go back to the 90s and look at the Michael Jordan inserts and buy them all up, you'd be doing pretty well for yourself. And I think that LeBron James probably falls into a lot of the same categories as Michael Jordan, especially as far as being an icon in the sport, as well as outside the sport. And I think that 20 years from now, and we look back, we'll have the same views of LeBron that we now do of Jordan. So with that being said, what might be one of the most iconic LeBron insert cards that you should buy now for 20 years from now? So if you had a time machine and go back from Michael Jordan, your first instinct would be buy the Metal Universe Precious Metal cards. And those have shot up in value when they do come to auction to well over six figures and in high grade could probably be over a million dollars. And I think for LeBron, then people will probably jump to, okay, well, a Revolution Galactic would be similar to a Precious Metal gem for Jordan. And that's great and I, I do believe that. However, trying to find a 2015 Revolution Galactic LeBron is already near impossible. They might come to sell once every one to two years and that card is already $15,000. So what are some LeBron cards under $1,000 that will be an iconic insert set 20 years from now? So without further ado, if you haven't guessed it yet, I believe that the LeBron James 2016 from downtown insert will be the insert to have outside of the Galactics from the first couple of years in Revolution. This card in PSA 10 right now can be found for around $1,000 or so. And this is the first year that Panini made the from downtown insert. They were inserted into their studio product at a rate of one per case. After this year and subsequent years, they've been inserted in cornerstones at a rate of one per case. And, and while I do think that year after year, it's still an interesting and still a collectible set, I believe that the first year, like with many other issues that we've seen in the past, will be the most collectible year. These cards came out pretty well from the pack condition wise. So finding a PSA 10 or a BGS 95 isn't very difficult. And I've got a couple of these for my collection. I actually had a couple of the subsequent years that I have since sold off just because I really like the design of the 2016. I think when we look back 20 years from now and we say, what are the iconic insert sets? This will be one that we'll look at as an iconic card. And I think has a lot of potential from an investment standpoint to increase substantially over the next five, 10, and again, 20 years. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you think other potential LeBron insert cards could become iconic in 20 years from now. 